News 11's Sarah Veronis spoke to residents to find out why they feel they aren't being heard. She joins us now live in the studio. Sarah. Peter, numerous neighbors of the rail trail addressed their growing concerns with the Akron Borough Council. Many locals expressed feeling left out of significant details in regards to the construction of the trail. The first survey that came out, it had a box for, I want the trail, I want to know more about the trail, something else about the trail. There was no box for, I don't want the trail. Linda is a property owner whose backyard borders the new rail trail running from Warwick to Ephrata. She and a room full of locals expressed being excluded from trail plans by the Akron Borough Council. We're just not a fan of how it's being done and we haven't been heard. Any of the council meetings where there was a vote, this wasn't the option that people voted on. And she wasn't alone. James Franz says he supported the trail from the start. He says in previous meetings, the residents voted for a tunnel to run under Main Street, and this request was completely ignored. Originally, we were excited about the trail, then after there were votes, and then they decided to do an at-grade option. Our major concern is the safety of the community and also the environment. He believes the current plan is not acceptable. But the way it's being done, I feel, is going to negatively impact the, the safety and in the environment in this community for a long time. Many of his neighbors say the widening of the trail has caused trees on their property to be removed without consent. I mean, why tear down more than you have to? I mean, they got pretty much, that thing was all full, full of trees before. Now they got a whole bunch of them dug out. You can see this is just like a little piece that they did just today. Tree removal has caused damage and raised privacy concerns for some. Residents say they hope the meeting with the council would put a halt on construction for the time being, but this is not the case. We're not. We're not being heard. And I mean, in fact, today I thought that they would wait until after today, after the meeting tonight, to take down some trees, but they didn't just kind of came in and didn't listen to anybody on this side of the road and just took down whatever they wanted to. At this point, James warns that he won't stop fighting for his homeowner rights until the majority of the council is removed or replaced. I'm disappointed with how it's been handled. I'm disappointed with them not listening. Council says they will continue with their rail trail plans, but this story is still ongoing and we will continue to follow up as more information becomes available. Live in the studio, I'm Sarah Veronis, News 11.